Sometimes in part workbench, you would need to extract features from a 3D solid. Like you would like to extract a face or an edge or a vertex from the 3D solid. Here in this video, we are going to see exactly how to do it. To do this exercise, let's open up the same file that we had used to create fillets and chamfers. I'm going to concentrate on the chamfer, so I'll hide fillet for the time being. Now, let's assume that I would like to extract this face of the cylinder from this chamfer. How to do this? FreeCAD provides another button or a utility from which you can do all of what I was just discussing earlier. Utility is just found next to creation of parameterized geometric primitives and the wording of that or the naming of that is appropriate advanced utility to create shapes. When I click on that, it gives you different options of what types of shape you want to create from what entities. The first one is create edge from a vertex. What does that mean? It means that if I would like to create an edge between a vertex which is here and a vertex which is here. So if I click on these two, as you can see, these green vertices are selected. If I click on create, an edge would be created between this vertex and the other one. Let's click on create and you can see that an edge has been created between the two selected vertices. Now you can also create a wire from all different edges. What does that mean? Wire creates a sequential or edges are uh, individual line items or line segments but a wire is a combination of all of those individual line segments. So if I want to create a wire from different edges I need to select those edges first. So here I'll select this edge, this, this one and this edge and when I click on create you will not see any visible difference but if I hide chamfer and if I hide edge you can see that this wire has been created out of the edges that we have selected. Next let's create a face from different vertices. So I'll click on face from vertice. I'll go in and select this vertex here, second vertex is here, third is here and fourth is here. So when I select all these all of these four vertices and then click on create nothing happens and why is that so when you look at the panel again you can see that there is an option to tick for planar face let's try this again so we have selected one two three four four vertices we have clicked on or selected planar and let's click on create now we are able to create this face here So that's how you create a face from the vertices. Next, let us create a face from edges. For that, I will first select face from edges. And the edges that I select will be this one on this, the one at the bottom here, and last this edge next click on planner and then when we click on create we can see that a nice face has been created based on the edges that we selected now what's a shell shell is group of faces or group of connected faces so technically if you want you can create a shell from faces 
and we can select shell of these two faces and then we when we create click create it has created a shell but we won't know until we hide all the other faces and other objects so this is collection of different faces So that's how you create a shell feature. Next, let's create a solid out of this shell. So first, let us hide all the other entities and we'll just keep the shell. And as you can see, it is a three dimensional shell, but it does not have any thickness to it. Now, let's go back and select solid from shell. Select the shell that we created earlier and hit create. Now you cannot see any visual difference here, but as you can see in the um, in the panel, model panel, you can see that there is a solid created. Now if I hide the solid, the shell is the same as the solid. So there is no difference between uh, the how the shell and the solid looks because it is a single or a planar object. So here we have seen how to create different edges from the existing model create wires from the edges, how to create a face from different vertices, how to create a face from different edges, how to create shell from different faces, and then ultimately how to create a solid.